Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the areas of money, career, finance in the month of June. As usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Let's get started. In the center of your reading, you do have the Sun, which is the most positive card of the whole deck. So it seems that your June is going to be <coughs> very good, uh, a lot of uh, because it's the card of positivity, freedom, fun, and success. <clears throat> and it's, it can also indicate uh, uh, confidence, happiness, and it's a card of good luck as well. Whenever the sun comes up, uh, you are radiating, you, are, uh, you can expect new opportunities, new opportunities will be coming to your way, and you're going to have <clears throat> a lot of options, and you're going to have... Uh, full of enthusiasm and happiness. Usually when the, the sun comes up, financially it's a good omen because things are going well. So it seems that uh, that you, uh, your June's going to be uh, overall uh, a very positive month. But let's see what other energies we have here. You do have the devil card. The devil card indicates a situation when you don't see the way out. It, it can indicate something where you are, uh, you feel trapped. Maybe you are in a job, you are in a business that's not going well. Uh, maybe you are in a, in, a, in a position that you don't see your way out. Um, or you are working with people that are pushing you down. It can be a card of bullying. Or you might have some own habits that are not letting you go, that are not helping you to grow. So there's something in your, uh, there's something impacting your work, where somehow you don't feel the way out. <clears throat> and the next card we have here is the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is uh, usually brings a, a positive change. This is the card when the universe is working with you to make your position better. This is the card of positive change, good luck, destiny. Uh, when this card comes up, some kind of a big change is coming and and uh, let's say you always wanted to start it, uh, your own business, then uh, you should really go for it. If you are uh, always uh, wanted to go for a new job to get liberated, you should go for it. Uh, because you know this is the card of the freedom as well, the sun. So, so for some of you, I think you're gonna be liberated from this negative energy that you've been in. Maybe you're gonna start your own business, your own project. Your you're gonna go for a new job uh, that's gonna be very good for you. Now, usually the wheel can indicate a change that not not necessarily an easy change, but it's for your greater good. Um, the next card we have here is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is another card of success, financial success. Uh, this is the card of financial stability, uh, independence as well. Uh, so if you're really thinking about uh, opening up your own business, own practice, this is a, a good time uh, for it because you practically have three cards that are talking about freedom, talking about uh, success. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is the card of prosperity, abundance, rewards or for your hard work. So if you're really thinking about some kind of a move, June is seems to be a good month to do that. Uh, you do have here the Nine of Wands as well. The Nine of Wands indicates a situation where you are exhausted. You are, it is the card of the a wounded soldier when you've been kind of just working working away and you are just ready to give up and it's interesting that it's right beside the devil which is which has this kind of this pulling back energy so I think there, there there's something in your work that that exhausts you uh, but again like this card always tells you to keep going because you're very close achieving your Goal. You've been in this situation before, you know how to get out of it. And you have the sun. The sun will pull you out of this negative situation. Uh, and then you do have the four of wands. The four of wands is the card of celebration, 
uh, reunions, get-togethers, uh, when something, it is, it is also the card of a new beginning when you are uh, starting uh, new, starting something new, you do have the 11-11 on it, which is an indication of a new beginning. So I think there's something really positive, new starting for you that's going to get you out of your miserable situation. For some of you, the 401s can indicate as well uh, a good uh, environment from a work perspective where you are collaborating well with your co-workers. And then you do have uh, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is the card of a new beginning, uh, a new um, financial beginning. This can indicate uh, some kind of a new opportunity that's going to be very stable, that has a potential to be very prosperous. This can be a new job, a promotion, a business opportunity. Whatever you are trying to do, um, uh, it should be uh, something that has a, a, a great potential because that's what the Ace of Pentacles is. And then you do have the Sun, and, and, and the Ace of Pentacles is really the seed that's going to grow. And you do have the Sun that's going to help to grow this seed. Now you do have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles can indicate a situation of uh, um, stagnation, a situation when you feel lack, when you feel being outside. Uh, so usually uh, it's, a, it's the card of financial struggles, it can be a card of uh, losing a job as well. Uh, so whatever it is, uh, um, I think whatever uh, this the negativity of this card is, <clears throat> let's say you lose your job, it's for your greater good, even though it, it can be a little hard because it, it, it's going to be actually help you to get better, help you to achieve your goals. Uh, for some of you, it might be like a self-sabotaging energy where you don't feel that you're enough and you don't feel that you have the energy. I think you do have, a, you, you, you should be able to uh, really get through. And you do have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is usually comes up uh, when uh, you should really look when when you when you when you're supposed to look at your work career situation and and really analyze it. Is this uh, situation making you happy emotionally, financially, and and is there anything else that your soul is really desired? The Queen of Cups. Cups is all about emotions, so she's always looking for something uh, that is, is is making her cups full and making her happy. So uh, you need to kind of do some a little examination that what would make you happy. For some of you, this card can indicate that <clears throat> you might be good for uh, a caring role, counseling, healing, or uh, work in a creative field, arts, um, photography, um, poets, and, and, and theater, or, or, or something that's related to the arts. Uh, but but uh, definitely this, is, this card is, is, is calling you to really evaluate what is that makes you happy and, and what is that you're supposed to do uh, in the future. So dear Sagittarius, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. And I'll see you, see you again.